Hi, I'm Dr. Sivranjini Santosh. I'm a pediatrician. When do parents need to suspect dengue? When the child has fever with any two of the following six symptoms or features that I'm going to tell you about. One, nausea and vomiting. Two, a red rash all over the body, red patches like. Three, severe body pains, headache, pain behind the eyes, back pain, basically severe body pains. Four, when the WBC, that is the white blood cell count, starts falling. Five, when doctors do a test called the tourniquet test using the BP, blood pressure cuff, if that comes positive. And six, if there are warning signs. What are these warning signs? These warning signs tell us that dengue is getting complicated and that you need to take your child to the hospital. What are the warning signs? Severe stomach pain, especially above the belly button and below the ribs. Severe stomach pain. Severe uncontrolled vomiting. Bleeding from the nose or mouth or blood in motions or stools or if the girl is having her periods at that time, the bleeding would be more. Four, the child is very irritable and lethargic. Five, the platelets are falling rapidly and the blood is getting thicker rapidly. And six, the liver is becoming big and there is fluid collecting around the lungs and other organs in the body. These are the warning signs. Some of these you can appreciate and some the doctors would appreciate on examination and through tests. Okay, so these are the warning signs. Then, if you neglect at this point, then this may proceed into severe dengue. What is severe dengue? Bleeding everywhere. The child going into shock or having breathlessness because of collection of fluid in the lungs or going into coma or the heart not functioning properly, not beating properly and the liver being damaged to a great extent. This, this tells us that it is severe dengue. So, normally, and what is shock? What is shock? Shock is whenever the blood supply to various organs of the body slows down and so the oxygen supply slows down, we call it as shock. So, it starts with, you know, hands and feet becoming cold and then later blood pressure falls down. So, normally what happens, most kids... They would have fever, say, for one to five days. And initially, younger kids may have some cold and cough. And the older kids may have back pain, headache, or pain behind the eyes. And this fever would last for one to five days and would usually resolve. Maybe after a day or two, again, slight fever may occur with, again, rash. So, in the beginning also, the children get a rash some of them on the second day and again during the second phase they may get a rash. All that the parent needs to do is to give paracetamol to control fever. The dose should be as per the label according to the weight of the baby. The parents needs to be, parent needs to be thorough with the first aid for seizures because many children below 6 years can have seizures when they have fever. And the parent needs to ensure that the liquid intake is very good. Especially giving oral rehydration solution, buttermilk, water, coconut water, etc. When they buy the oral rehydration solution, they should buy a WHO recommended formula and not ORSL. Not ORSL. Please note. The parents need to be thorough with 
knowledge about warning signs and if there are warning signs immediately they have to take the child to the hospital the parents need to avoid medicines like aspirin ibuprofen ibuprofen mefenamic acid or mephtalpy because these medicines can suppress the platelets further and cause problems some kids in some kids what happens is this water from the blood in the blood vessels leaks out leaks out so the child may go into shock because of less less blood in the blood vessels so at this stage at this stage even platelets will start falling so the child will give us warning signs that this process is taking place so immediately parent needs to recognize this and take the child to the hospital so many a times the platelets would fall at this stage but many a times we don't end up giving platelets to the child unless the platelet count is below 10000 per microliter or below 20000 per microliter but the child is having bleeding from maybe the nose or mouth etc so many a times i see parents panicking when the platelet count is 1 lakh and 80000 and they you know they think that platelets have to be given to the child at that point we are not supposed to give platelets at that point and in fact giving platelets at that point may backfire and create problems for the child and there are many people who may sell you medicines saying give this to your child it will increase the platelets and all that please don't get carried away and don't get uh, cheated into buying these medicines for your child at this stage if you do not admit your child then it's going to be dangerous at this stage we need to give saline to the child and if necessary oxygen to the child we need to take care of the salt level the sodium level potassium level in the blood all these things we need to take care and we need to monitor how the platelets are behaving how the blood clotting is happening all these and take care of the child accordingly if we do not take care in the right way at this point then the child may go on into severe dengue and even otherwise also there is a, there is a syndrome called macrophage activation syndrome where like this dengue virus stimulates the immune system so excessively that lot of chemicals uh, called cytokines get released and cells called macrophages get too activated and create lot of problems in the body uh, with regard to the liver with regard to the way the blood cells work with regard to the way blood is clotting all this it's and cause severe dengue so when it is severe dengue we will have to admit in the icu without fail and give saline and other fluids appropriately balance them well make sure the blood pressure is correct make sure the child is not having any breathing problem if necessary we may have to ventilate the child and if the blood is not clotting properly we may have to give plasma platelets and even blood sometimes and if the child is in coma we may again have to ventilate and support him and if the heart is not working properly properly we'll have to give medicines accordingly so all these things we'll have to take care and also if we suspect macrophage activation syndrome then we'll have to even give iv immunoglobulin and steroids so this is how we man manage dengue so take home points for parents are one most cases are mild so please control fever with paracetamol maintain good liquid intake avoid aspirin ibuprofen mephenamic acid etc be thorough with knowledge about warning signs and hospitalize the child as needed this is what you need to know and do not get carried away and buy medicines uh, which will increase platelet count and all these medicines which they uh, which people claim to you know prevent severe dengue
don't get carried away and waste your money thank you